Methods of Heat Transfer Whenever there is a difference of temperature, heat starts flowing from high temperature to low temperature. Hence, the transfer of heat from one place to other can take place in the following ways. 1. Conduction 2. Convection 3. Radiation Conduction The process of transfer of heat in solids by the active participation of medium particles without leaving their original positions is called conduction. Example A person passes the ball through other person standing between him and the bowler. Activity Take an iron bar. Put some wax on its one end. Put the other end of the bar on the flame of a burner. After some time, you will observe that wax starts melting at the other end which was not heated. It means that the heat has reached to other end where wax was fixed. This shows that heat is transported from hot end to the cold end because of difference in temperature. When an object is brought near to a source of heat, the molecules closer to the source get more energy. When these molecules collide with their neighbors, they transfer some of the energy to their neighbors. These molecules now collide with another set of molecules. This is how heat flows from a hot part of an object to a colder part in contact with it. In this flow, the molecules of the object do not move. Thus, heat is transferred through an object without the movement of the molecules. This process of heat transfer without the actual movement of molecules is called conduction. Activity Take four rods of different metals, say iron, copper, aluminium and silver. The rods should be identical. Put equal amount of wax on one of their ends. Take small metal container, make holes in the container and insert the rods inside the container so that the end having wax is outside as shown in the figure. Put hot water in the container. The end of the rods inside will get heated. This heat will start flowing to other end where wax is coated. The wax will start melting in silver first, copper next, then aluminium and then iron. This shows that silver is the best conductor of heat. Conductors and Insulators All metals do not allow heat to pass through them with equal ease. Some allow heat to pass faster through them whereas some solids do not allow heat to pass through them. Activity Take two rods, one of iron and the other of glass. Put small nails at each rod with the help of the wax on these rods. The other end of these rods are exposed to flame of a burner. You will notice that nails in iron rod will fall due to melting of wax while in the glass rod the nails do not fall. On the basis of the activity, we can say that some materials conduct heat and some do not conduct heat. Hence, materials which allow heat to flow through them are called conductors. Examples, silver, iron, copper, brass, aluminium, etc. The materials which do not allow heat to flow through them are called insulators or non-conductors or bad conductors. Examples, glass, air, plastic, rubber, wood, etc. Applications of good and bad conductors The materials which are good conductors of heat are used in the transfer of heat. 1. Good conductors of heat are used to make cooking utensils, but bad conductors of heat are used to make handles of cooking utensils so that we can lift these utensils easily. 2. Blankets and quilts are used in winter. The cotton and fiber are poor conductors of heat. Hence, the heat of our body does not escape and we feel warm. 3. Insulators like Bakelite, Ebonite, Drywood are used for making handles of electric iron 
and cookwares, etc. 4. Ice is wrapped with sawdust to prevent melting. This is because sawdust is loosely packed. It contains trapped air which acts as an insulator.